Good morning, Forest. I'm Brielle Fernandez. And I'm Ramon Perez. Today's day is Friday, September 13th, and you're watching WCAT. <laughs> Attention students, state testing is still going on. Today we have a B-Day with no cat. On Monday we'll return to our normal 1-6 through six schedule. On testing days, 9th and 10th graders will take their baseline progress monitoring assessment for language arts. That will help them know where they need to improve for their testing in the spring. 11th and 12th graders, if you need testing to meet your graduation requirements, opportunities will be available. Please speak with Ms. Price if you have any questions. Also a reminder, check your school email to see if you have any library or textbook debt. You will need to clear debt before you can get your homecoming tickets. If you do not receive an email, you do not have any debt. Return any lost books that you have, including books from other schools. Students can pay the, students can pay the debt online at the WebTrack website. Directions on how to do so can, can be found within the same email. Only overdue fines and printing fees can be paid within person. This October, homecoming week is. Guest forms for HOCO are now available as well as powder puff sign up. So head up to the activities office if you need to grab any of those forms. I hope everyone is having a great year so far. Let's check, let's check out a flashback to our first week of school. We had an ice cream social to welcome our freshmen. Let's take a closer look with Rhett. Last Friday, there was an event for the freshman class to celebrate their accomplishment for the first week of high school. So we host a first week of high school celebration for freshman students so that they can end that first week on a very positive message. Um, we want students to feel that here at high school there are people, you know, like the cat crew and teachers who care about you, and to celebrate with them that they've made it through that first week. Well, anytime you start something new, and obviously for freshman high school is new, you want to start off on a good, on a good, with a good foundation. So our first week, um, students are still learning their, where their classes are. They're learning how lunch works, and so you know they've kind of got through those first five days. We want to just really celebrate that they have done that. And so ha starting off on a good foot is a great way to continue through high, your high school career. Mr. Crawford has been very welcoming to the incoming class of freshmen. Let's hear it from a freshman that feels very welcomed here at Forest High School. First week, um, my favorite experience was the freshman ice cream party because I got to meet a lot of new people um, while eating ice cream with my friends. And this just gave me a step into my first week of high school, got me comfortable. Um, I'm excited and looking forward to um, making new friends, joining a lot of clubs like SGA, FFA, and FCA. And I'm excited to be a student athlete this year because I do cheer and I'm excited to try new sports and also do a lot of extracurriculars. Um, I would say like keep doing those activities that we did like the freshman ice cream party. Also just like having um, upperclassmen like invite us to things like football games that we don't know of and stuff because it just gets us more comfortable and feeling better. I'm hoping that trying out for SGA president will help me impact as much as I can because SGA is student council so I'm hoping I can meet new friends, talk to them, and impact our freshman year. Thanks, Red. NHS member applications are also out. Freshmen cannot become members yet. If you have any questions about NHS, please email bethany.crawford at marion.k12.fl.us. Any students interested in joining the library volunteer team, book club, or book bowl team can now pick up member packs in the upstairs rotunda. Now over to Surrey with our sp sports news. What's up, Forrest? I'm Suri here with your upcoming sports news. Last night, our girls' volleyball team had an away match at Vanguard with JV winning 2-0 and varsity winning as well 3-0. Last night, our JV football team lost against South Sumter Raiders, unfortunately. But tonight, our varsity football team has a home game against the Horizon Hawks, and the theme is camo. Come out and support us as we hope to get the first win in the season. That's it for sports news. Now back to your anchors. Well, Wildcats, that's all the news we have for you today. To stay updated on all things Boris, make sure to follow us at FHS underscore WCAT on all our social media platforms, such as YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, X, and the new app threads. Once again, I'm Brielle. And I'm Ramon. Thanks for tuning in, and like always, Go, go Cats! Cats. 